I'm in the garden today to teach you a simple intervention that could make a big difference for some of your depressed clients. If you like this video, consider subscribing. Give us a thumbs up. When we start working with people who are depressed, one of our first tasks is to help them become more active. We usually do this with something called activity scheduling, where we help them figure out things to do each hour of the day. The idea is that doing activities that are pleasurable or accomplish something or overcome avoidance help boost our mood. When clients don't do the activities that they plan on doing, a good thing to do is to ask them, what happened? What did you experience? What went through your mind? Oftentimes clients have one of three reasons. Sometimes they feel overwhelmed by the activities that you'd planned. And in this case, it's good to cut down on the amount of activities that you're scheduling. Other times they might feel pessimistic. I don't think it will work and then it's a good time to just do an experiment and do the activity and see what happens. The difficulty we often encounter is that when we're depressed, we feel quite tired, we have a lot of inertia. So our clients will often come back and tell us, well, I wanted to do the things that we had planned, but I was just too tired, I didn't have the energy. And when this is the case, that's when the five minute rule is an ideal intervention. I would describe the five minute rule like this to my depressed clients. When we're depressed, I understand it's really hard to do things. But if you could get up and do something even for five minutes, we could do an experiment to see if that helps you feel better than just sitting in your chair and doing nothing or watching television. Would you be willing to give it a try this week? When you see something on your activity schedule, if you don't quite have the energy to do it for the full hour, just do it for five minutes. And if you do it for five minutes, you get credit for doing the full activity. Depressed clients will kind of quiz you a little bit and say, are you serious? If I just do it for five minutes, I get full credit? And I'll say, absolutely. We're just doing an experiment to see if doing something even for five minutes has an impact on your mood. So we make a list on the activity schedule, whether it's washing the dishes or gardening, just do it for five minutes. See how you feel at the end of five minutes. At that point, you can stop or if you want to, you can carry on. So as an experiment today, I went out and tried the five minute rule in our own garden. Even though it was a bit of a windy day, I found that in five minutes I could get a bit of clipping done, clean up my mess, and as I might have expected, I ended up doing a little bit more than five minutes. If clients come back and they say, I followed the five minute rule, but I didn't feel any better. This is actually a little bit unusual, but if it happens, then I would take a learning attitude with them. I would say, what went on when you were doing this? Sometimes people spoil the five minute rule by not really entering into the, the fun of it and not really giving themselves permission to feel the accomplishment, even if they just do five minutes worth. Or other times, people are having certain self-critical thoughts while they're doing the activity that spoil the possible benefits of either enjoyment or accomplishment that they otherwise might feel. The five minute rule actually has a lot of possibility for success built into it. First of all, for depressed people, doing something for five minutes is a lot less arduous and overwhelming than the idea of doing something for 30 minutes or 40 minutes. Oftentimes, the first five minutes are the hardest of an activity. So there's always the possibility the client might continue carrying on the activity and doing a little bit more even when their timer for five minutes goes off. If so, then clients sometimes have a double boost in mood. They have the boost that comes from the five minutes of activity that they did, but they also have the possibility of an extra boost that comes from feeling like they did extra credit, that they did even more than five minutes. If you like this video, consider subscribing. Give us a thumbs up.